Though there are limited studies available right now, so far we have not seen any evidence that COVID-19 is present in either the amniotic fluid of a pregnant woman or that it's transmitted via breast milk. So if a mother who is diagnosed with COVID-19 is at all willing and able to breastfeed, because breast milk has properties to prevent possible illness, it actually would be the best nutrition source for an infant. Yes, supplements are great and I'm all for them more appropriate. But remember, supplements are there to support a good and healthy diet where your meals are nutrient dense, meaning very colorful. Now, I do believe in the medicinal properties of certain foods and herbs, but remember that COVID-19, although a virus, is new to the game and we don't really know what we can use specifically to fight against it. Zinc and vitamin C are not the only nutrients that help promote a good and healthy immune system. Vitamins A, B6, B12, vitamins D, zinc, folate, iron, selenium, I mean the list is long and this is why it's more important for you to have a nutrient dense diet than to focus on a couple of nutrients to help you stay healthy during this time. You should consume vitamin C sources of food like citrus fruits, spinach, and bell peppers into your diet. However, if you don't have access to these food groups, feel free to take out vitamin C sources of supplement. Um, vitamin C is a water soluble vitamin, so there is no upper limit to form toxicity in your body. However, a good multivitamin is recommended to get all the other vitamins and minerals to support your immune system overall. I recommend taking the 1000 milligram vitamin C that you see over the counter when you are actually sick to boost your immune system. I see those type of supplement like Tylenol. You don't take Tylenol if you're not sick. While I may not be drinking a ton of alcohol right now, there is this crazy myth out there that drinking alcohol can actually reduce your risk of infection. This is not true. Drinking alcohol can actually suppress your immune system, particularly in your gut and in your respiratory system. So drinking alcohol in excess during these stay at home times is probably not a good idea and definitely not going to reduce your risk of getting coronavirus. Do I really have to answer this one? Um, I'm just gonna answer it because I've been hearing it circulating. Uh, no, if you eat Chinese food, that does not mean that you're gonna get the coronavirus. If that is the case, that means we cannot eat any type of international food period, such as Italian food or Japanese food or German food or any international food period because this is a pandemic. So no. So the answer is no, eating garlic does not prevent the coronavirus. While garlic has many health benefits, it's shown to reduce blood pressure and your risk of heart disease. It is shown to boost the immune system with antimicrobial properties. There was some research that showed that it reduced the number of days of the common cold. There's still no research that shows that it prevents the coronavirus. So your best bet for staying healthy is to eat a variety of healthy foods and drink a lot of water. False. Being forced to stay inside and work from home with little to no social interaction is likely causing a lot of us to feel low in energy, low in spirits, and a tad bit overwhelmed. But here are two quick things that we can do to address those concerns. First, you wanna start and spend the majority of your day in a brightly lit room, preferably one that draws in a lot of natural sunlight to activate the happy hormone serotonin. Two, you wanna evenly distribute your carbohydrate sources throughout your meals and snacks during the day. Carbs are what our body uses as the primary source of fuel and can be found naturally in fruits, but also in things like whole grain breads, pastas, rices, and potatoes, just to name a few. Now, if you do these things every day, what you'll start to notice is an increase in energy, a boost in your mood, but more importantly, the confidence to tackle the task ahead. The fact of the matter is, fresh, frozen, canned, and dried all contain important vitamins, minerals, dietary fiber, and phytochemicals that are important for our health. And if you consider the alternative of not having vegetables, then any vegetable is better than none. But try to make sure that you get a variety. Now that we're sheltering in place, doing our best to keep one another healthy, you might not be so surprised that you are eating more these days. Your fridge and the snacks that we're constantly surrounded by are cues to eat. In order to break this new habit, 
try inserting a mindful moment by asking yourself, am I hungry? Whatever the answer, you know how to move forward. Best of luck and stay well. There are some conflicting opinions on whether or not we should be disinfecting our grocery packaging. Having good hand hygiene, reducing our trips to the grocery store, wearing a mask or face covering, or even having our groceries delivered to our front door are all ways that may reduce the risk of exposure to the virus. The CDC does not currently recommend disinfecting your groceries, so washing your hands both before and after handling food is the most important step you can take. However, we do know that the virus lives on different surfaces for varying periods of time. So if you are concerned, there are some simple measures that you can take, such as emptying your groceries into a clean container when you get home, discarding plastic or cardboard packaging, or even washing plastic packages with mild soapy water. And always remember, if you are concerned, peace of mind is the most important thing. So do what you gotta do and shop safely. Thanks for watching and don't forget, comment below with any questions you may have. Bye.